Good morning, folks. We've got an excellent lineup of stories today. We will start here with the sun, where the bright active spots are dulling and decaying. And we come to spaceweathernews.com to find that the last day on our star not only lacked significant sunspot activity, but the coronal holes are absent as well. Tiny patches here and there, yes, but the bulk is confined north and south. The solar wind is following that quiet suit as, once again, even the erroneous spikes in the telemetry are not breaking up into scary range. The sun's so quiet, even bad data can't scare us. So let's go to the strongest storm on Earth right now. Typhoon in the Philippine Sea. This one expected to perhaps clip Japan on its curl northward and then back to the east. Eyes on this one in the coming days as the forecast will change, but for now, it is Category 5. Folks, this is 3.33 a.m. temperature local time in the New Valley of the Sun, and we're doing 24-hour jumps forward. This is not nightfall or seasons changing. This is day by day, 3.33 a.m. mountain time expected temperature going forward. The cold is coming. Let's have some fun next, shall we? Let's go to Stanford, SLAC, the National Accelerator Lab, where their newest technology is set to upgrade a number of sciences from molecular biology to X-ray studies of deep space. Its predecessor was a thousand times less bright and a million times less powerful. Link provided below to the article and all they aspire to accomplish with their new toy. Let's next jump out to Mars, where a former oasis has been discovered. Not only have they figured out exactly how the water got trapped underground so close to the surface, but how it was revealed. And most importantly, they found the chemical composition of life soup. Everything microbes would need to thrive on the now red planet is still there today. Two quick notes of interest here before our top story. First, would you believe mammoths were still around 4,000 years ago? After the last catastrophe, a considerable sized herd got cut off on an island and they persisted there for thousands of years after the rest had perished. Second, vaccines. Wherever you come down on this issue, it helps to stay informed. And something tells me this one isn't exactly going to make it onto CNN. The awe expressed at human rebellion against authority is almost complimentary if not for their not-so-veiled hints that they liken it to idiocy. Just an FYI on the war here. And now our top story. What could make me get behind the idea that Axion dark matter might exist? Have them change what it is, how it interacts, and make it a 100% electrified particle. Yeah, okay, I might bite on that one. They think they have detected axions in a crystal, not just conducting electricity, but contributing odd electromagnetic anomalies beyond what simple electrons can do. It is worth remembering that hundreds of such claims of spotting something end up being debunked days to weeks later. These are guesses based on assumptions, based on best available information from imperfect sources. But even if this would turn out to be legit, Worst case scenario, they basically just said dark matter was electric. That means it's not the real dark matter, they say. This topic was the focus of last night's video. We took plasma cosmology and made it easy. In less than nine minutes, you can learn the key arguments and items of importance in the field to the point where even a seasoned professor might have trouble taking you on in a conversation. That video is linked below. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.